I have gained so much confidence in who I am and in who I am becoming as a director of film. This is probably who I've always been but wasn't able to tap into this version of myself until my career was over. Athletes are superheroes for three hours on Sunday, but we are humans forever. The life of being an athlete is unlike any other. The extreme highs and lows on a daily basis and the pressures to perform was immense. That mentality lasts forever though. People saw what I did on the field and they praised me for it. Of course, they never knew who I really was or who I am today. They just knew what I did. That attention was cool, but it's not fulfilling in the long run. Being praised for what you do and not for who you are doesn't satisfy me. Because think of it this way, what you do will change, but who you are probably won't. I guess this sums up my career right here. It don't get no better than this. Of course I'll be loving to play on this day. I had this day marked on my calendar the day I signed in 2015. But this moment seems a little bit different. I'm happy, I'm at peace, seeing my brother's ball in the same jersey that I once wore. I'm at peace. Keep balling, boy, do your thing. Another thing too is like it's about presence and confidence. And I think like now nah, we got we and did Nike, Champs, we're doing, you know, personal injury lawyers, we're doing stories, documentaries, movies, films. There's like no box they can put us in now. The biggest misconception of any athlete, man or woman, is that we're just athletes. That's the part they don't see. <laughs> like they see the videos, I'm like, oh my god, that's cool, dope. But they don't see you slaving. To, to create the set, they don't see this. And that we're just supposed to be entitled to that sport and game and playing field that we played on. And we're just supposed to trap ourselves in that game and, and not be nothing more than that. We shouldn't speak out on certain topics and issues. We shouldn't express ourselves in ways outside of what they want us to be. Football allowed me to do so much more than just catch a touchdown. And, and I'm not saying those things weren't great. I loved it, but that's where they go wrong. We're so much more than just an athlete. You know, coming from the playing field and transitioning into the creative space and to where I'm at now, I'm, I'm showing other athletes that there's other ways and other avenues um, after the game is done to find that, that second passion because it's tough transitioning um, and leaving the game of sport that comes with so much baggage and so much entitlement and you become that sport. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. You won't see God. You won't see his purpose. You'll shout about it. You'll dance about it, but you won't see it happen. You clap your hands about it, it'll sound good to you, but you won't see what God has for you. You don't get yourself together. Football was once what I did, my vehicle for success, if you will, right? It unlocked the doors I wanted to enter and made unimaginable things happen, like my life today. Football did this, and now I'm a filmmaker with my own business. I tell stories like no one else can. My perspective is unique to me, but it's relatable to most within the culture of sports and entertainment and in general. People sometimes don't believe I'm doing what I do now. They probably think, how did he go so left, but it's killing it? Like I didn't even know I was capable of chasing this type of greatness. I have gained so much confidence in who I am and in who I am becoming as a director of film. This is probably who I've always been, but wasn't able to tap into this version of myself until my career was over. Athletes are superheroes for three hours on Sunday, but we are humans forever. Because he's revealing things to you. And that's when the enemy come and fight you the most. That's why when you read that scripture about knowledge just only increases sorrow, that's why. Because once your eyes are open, you start to gain knowledge of truth, then the enemy comes hard. You'll make your life miserable. 
But that's where you gotta have discernment and wisdom when you're out here in this world trying to maneuver through things. And trust me, brother, your father has been through a lot of battles. The enemy been fighting for a long time. But I would not give up. I would not give up. You know, so you just keep fighting. Keep being the inspiration to your friend. Go on there and encourage him. The enemy don't like that. He don't want you going to encourage and coop to fight on and be an example. Because he know you're going to build another warrior. He can't fight against you. See, you're building warriors. He don't like that. You know, so you keep doing what you're doing, man.